Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so today I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your your Intel Core 2 Quad Core Optiplexes. They're a 775 socket and there's only a few processors you can use the, the electrical tape method on. So I'm going to be telling you guys which ones I've been successful with and which ones either won't work or they'll just put your computer into a limp mode. So let's check it out. All right. So this chip right here is the most common one to use for the BSEL electrical tape mod. It's the Q6600 Core 2 Quad. And it's at 2.4 gigahertz. So when doing the mod on this CPU, you get uh, you get boosted up to 3 gigahertz. And that's just by taping one of the pins. I'll show you that right now. So here's my Dell Optiplex 755, small form factor. These computers are really just a breeze to work on. I mean, you could literally take this whole thing apart and put it together with one hand basically but um in order to take the cpu out you're just going to want to take the cd drive out and then there's two screws on the cpu heat sink which is under this big fan shroud so you just unscrew those two pop these guys off and then yeah, it's pretty much just a solid block of aluminum. And let me clean this up real quick. Okay, so now with it flipped over, you can see right there, it's going to be the pin just to the right of the notch. And you're just going to cut out a really small sliver of electrical tape. And then... What I do after that is I fold the tape up over the edge of the chip, and then I just cut it off with scissors. And um, here, let me get a let me get the normal one for reference. It's pretty difficult to see, but uh, okay. So the bottom one is without the mod, and then. That's the one with the mod. It's literally just a piece of electrical tape over that pin. And you want to be pretty careful when you set the CPU back in the socket. Because it, it may move the electrical tape. So I'm going to put the stock CPU back in. Show you guys the speeds. And then after that I'll put the one with the tape mod in. Just to show you the performance increase. Alright, so with the stock CPU in there, you can see that our core speeds are only going up to about 2.4 gigahertz, and that's just the stock speed. And also take note of the front side bus and the bus speed, because when you do the tape mod, it's going to boost these up, and our our core speed is actually going to go up to 3 gigahertz. So, I'll put the the CPU with the tape mod back in and I'll show you what speeds that one's at. All right, so back to the tape mod CPU. You can see that our core speeds have jumped up to just about 3 gigahertz and the bus and the the front side bus has both jumped up pretty significantly and I've tried this mod on a couple of the other higher gigahertz quad cores and it just doesn't work at all the fan defaults to the highest speed and the computer won't even boot so um, yeah, as far as like stock motherboard and stock chip goes, 
I would say go for the Q6600 because anything faster and it's it's not even going to boot because it's going to it's going to shoot this up too high and it's it's going to not let it let it run. Um I have tried it on a couple dual cores as well and the ones I've tried it on um it didn't work either. So the Q6600's pretty much going to work every single time unless maybe your motherboard doesn't support it but practically all Dells will support this CPU out of the box from this generation um, well Dell Optiplex there's a few like the Inspirions that use Celerons and whatnot and those ones won't even take take a quad core even updating the BIOS and everything so I would just stick with the Q6600 for an Optiplex. So.